when assessing for the presence of caudal lumbar pain and lameness associated with it, it's important to feel the pelvic structures carefully, palpate the lumbar spine carefully, both right and left sides, with support from underneath. Palpating the LS junction is possible by determining the sacral dorsal processes and where they roll away, we can find that LS junction. Dorsal pressure on the LS junction, left to the jun junction, and right will determine whether or not we have LS pain. The use of the tail jack can also be employed to help mobilize the sacrum, and this too can induce pain in some patients. The ileal compression test is another way to put pressure on that LS area, and sometimes this too will induce a pain response. When feeling for nerve pain, it's wise to support the patient well, put the leg into mild extension, where it is non-weight bearing or just touching the mat, by palpating down the sciatic tract from where it runs over the pelvis behind the greater trochanter, descends down between the biceps femoris and the vastus lateralis, we can determine whether sciatic discomfort is present. Slight extension of the limb is helpful. When palpating down this area, steady, moderate pressure should be performed with good body support. As one works down the tract, you'll be feeling the caudal aspect of the femur, and this is where the nerve tract is present. It is more common for dogs to have discomfort in the popliteal fossa directly caudal and proximal to the stifle joint. Examination of this area will often produce a discomfort or pain response. In this patient, there is mild discomfort on palpation of that area. When palpated further proximally, that is not present, but as we get to that popliteal fossa area, we'll find a distinct pain response.